the reflex reaction. So what is reflex reactions? Reflex reactions is a quick and automatic reaction to a stimulus from outside of the body. Usually it's an emergency case. For example, your hand accidentally touch a very hot object. So your body need to respond as fast as possible to protect your hand from a severe injury. And therefore, uh, it will go through these reflex reactions. So it's a very quick, very fast and automatic. It's not controlled by your consciousness. It's controlled by your body. It's controlled by your spinal cord, but it's not controlled by your consciousness. Okay. So you receive this stimulus and then uh, responds to it with a very short time. Eh? Okay. The aim is to protect uh, our body from severe injury. Yep. And it's controlled by the spinal cord. The impulse doesn't send to the brain for decision making. It will send to the spinal cord and then the spinal cord will make the decisions by itself without your consciousness. Okay? You can't control it. Examples of reflex reactions knee jerk reflex so if you have something that hit your knee then your leg will kick out okay this is a reflex reaction it's not controlled by you and it cannot be controlled by you okay so your body will reflex uh with this uh, stimuli okay another one closing the eye to avoid objects entering the eye if something flies towards you and it's very close to your eye so your eye will close automatically Okay, so it's not controlled by your consciousness and it's a reflex reaction. Coughing, okay, coughing. Uh, most of the time it's not controlled by you. Yep. Coughing. So these are the reflex reactions. And uh, let's see these examples, huh? okay. The pathways of reflex reactions. Let's say your hand accidentally poked by a nail. Okay, you didn't see the nail and then you hit your hand uh, against the nail and then um, when your hand touch the nail the receptor uh, which is the skin okay the skin is the organs that detect this uh, pain and also the touch okay so the receptors detect the stimuli so it will send the stimuli to the spinal cord through the sensory neurons so the sensory neurons transmit the impulse, the impulse go to the spinal cord and the spinal cords realize that this is an emergency case. So therefore, it does not send the impulse to your brain for decision making. Okay. Instead, the spinal cord make a decision by itself. Okay. Without your consciousness, the reactions will be decisions of the spinal cord will be to withdraw your hand, to pull back your hand. Okay, to avoid further injury. So your spinal cord make a decision not to send the impulse to the brain, but uh, send the impulse directly to the effector, to the motor. So in between this, the motor neuron and the sensory neuron, we have a relay neuron here. Okay. So the impulse is sent to the spinal cord and then the spinal cord sends the impulse straight away to the effector and then the muscles uh, contract and your hand is withdrawn from the nail to, to prevent further injury, okay? So this is how a reflex reactions occur and the pathway from the receptor to the sensory neuron, to the spinal cord, to the motor neuron, to the effector. And this pathway is called the reflex arc, yeah, the reflex arc.